what is going up everybody thank you for stopping back by the channel uh or if this is your first time here uh welcome uh if this is your first time you should probably go watch the previous episode uh it's just a little intro to the team and everything getting recruiting set up uh I've had a week one by so you know you haven't really missed anything but i still would recommend going to watch that first episode just to make sure you don't miss out on anything it's some good stuff trust me all right jumping into recruiting we can already see that we're in the lead for seth thompson that's good because we only threw 250 into him plus that bonus we overtake fiu who is actually james madison see if you watch the first episode you already know that but anyways so we already are on the lead for seth thompson that's great to see so what i'm thinking for doing uh with the rest of recruiting we have 500 points to scout I think I'm just going to keep on scouting the guys that I've thrown points into. I feel like that's the most logical thing to do here. So we're not just like wasting points on somebody we're not even actively pursuing. So with that being said, we're going to scout Seth Thompson some more. Hopefully he stays going up and he does 79 throw power, 78 accuracy. Great to see the 74 speed on the other hand. Not so great, but you know what? We will take the increase in overall any day. Joe Randolph, we also have the lead on. That's huge. The only wide receiver interested in the team. So we desperately need this guy to, to come to the squad. So with that being said, we're going to scout him some more. And he keeps going up. That's great to see. 71 route running. The spec catch yeah, is something to be desired. But the route running, you love to see it. So last episode, we had a bit of a dilemma with, not really a dilemma, but a uh, Split split choice in tight ends here. Uh, so we, we're going after Matt Johnson and Paris Barrow. Um, so we're in second for Matt Johnson. So uh, let's just scout him, and then we'll check and see how much we're gaining on him. So may maybe we can move some points around if, if we're gaining really, really easy on him. So he stays the same. Carrying is not great. Ball carrier vision, not great either. <laughs> Injury goes down still not great but you know staying at that 75 overall which is good so we are actually climbing really really fast on uh matt johnson so if we do overtake him and kind of run away with it we'll be able to move some points around so something to watch for uh, later in the season well look what we got here we're first on paris barrow you love to see it. it's the, the higher overall of the two tight ends so, uh, you know, hopefully we can keep that trend going up. And he does! 72 overall, 75 speed, 74 excel, 71 jumping, and 73 agility. Wow, uh, Paris Barrow is looking like a stud right now. And uh, let's see what kind of lead we're getting. Oh, wow, we're, we are, uh, <laughs> we'll, we'll run away with Paris pretty quick uh, if things keep uh, looking the way they are. Hopefully no other team... Uh, really likes him and we can just keep a hold of him because uh, I really like to to have him on the squad uh, Old Dominion down there. You can you can stay away. He, he's mine. Stay away Well, it looks like we will be changing Richard's last name uh, If you watched last episode, I still don't know how to say this Richard Frund Frund. That's what I'm gonna go with Frund Richard Frund we, we have the lead you love to see it the only tackle interested in the team Let's keep scouting him. He's going to stay at 65. I will honestly take it at this point. I uh, Anything anything to add more depth to the squad. So, Terrell Brooks. It's not looking great, but I'm going to hold out some hope here. Maybe something happens to where we can kind of swoop in and take the lead. Uh, we're going we're gonna to keep on scouting him. Yo. <laughs> A major sign for us, but... With a 77 overall, I, I doubt we get this guy. We're dropping by 30. Uh, people are already offering him scholarships. I mean, that's, wow. Uh, we're going to keep throwing points at him. I mean, we would desperately need linemen, so a 77 freshman would be great. Uh, if I have some points left over, I'll throw a scholarship at him just to stay in the hunt, but I, it's not looking great. So, Walter Fuller, we're in the lead for it. you love to see it. Everybody so far, we're kind of in the top three at least, so that's good to see. So let's just keep scouting Walter here. 
goes up to a 69 overall. Nice. Cole Perez, we're in second. Uh, I don't know what, if we're gaining or we're dropping. We are dropping, so that's not a great sign, but maybe if we have some points free up, we can throw some more at them. We're going to keep scouting them anyway. <laughs> and the drop, you hate to see it. Maybe he goes back up, but a, a drop in overall is not something we wanted to see from him. Jeff Rush, middle linebacker. We have the lead for him. That's great. Um, going to keep scouting him. Hopefully he goes up in overall and not down, though. And I will take it a 67 overall. Uh, yeah, th that's great to add to the squad. Noah Lowe, we have the lead on. Perfect. I We need corners desperately. And uh, Noah would be someone I would really like on the squad with that 76 zone, as I said last episode. And with 86 XL, he'll be able to get to his zone pretty fast. So uh, we're going to keep throwing 500 on him because we we want this guy. We want him. Marcus Hughes, we have a pretty decent sized lead already in week uh, two. So that's that's good. We're going to scout him some more. Uh, that 78 play rec is great. And you know what? We actually can't scout because we're out of points. You know what? We'll take some we'll take 50 away from him this week. Just scout him some more. Stays at 66. He gets 450 for the week. It's whatever. Oh, 78 zone. That's that's good to know. Good to know. He also has a good zone. And last and certainly not least, we have Peter Shaw. We're in a close battle with Boston College in Ohio for this guy. Uh, if he keeps going up in overall, he's a stud. Six foot four. Has some pretty decent coverage stats, if I remember correctly. He does. Uh, so we're going to have to do the same thing we did with Marcus. I'd hate to give him 450 for the week, but you got to do what you got to do. And he goes up even more. 91 Excel. Wow. We desperately need this guy. I'm going to take some points off of somebody. Uh, and we're, we're going to definitely throw a full 500 on him because we're going to need it. Um, we're going to take 50 off Seth Thompson for the week, just for the week. Um, because we are gaining on him or running away with him. Honestly, uh, nobody's actually going up compared to us. So we're going to throw another 500 on to Peter Shaw for the week because, uh, I feel like we really need this guy in the secondary. It's like a must have, and I don't want to lose him. So my capture card actually uh, decided to kind of freeze up and die on me on the intros and stuff. So we have a rain game. Uh, it showed that little cool intro thing. Didn't actually get to catch it uh, on camera. So uh, maybe maybe next game. But for the first ever coin toss in school history, you got to go with tails because tails never fails. And I was right. Let's go. Uh, we're going to start out. Yeah, we're going to start out on uh, defense here. And the first kick in school history is off. And we can't even get a touchback. Oh, no. Oh, this is not looking good. Okay. We got him. We got him. It's good. 26-yard return. So, I definitely should preface. I am in no way, shape, or form good at this game at all. So, if you're expecting some, like, good playing from me, you're not going to get it. You're just not. We're able to we're able to tackle them for a seven yard gain. So at least he didn't take it to the house on the first play. So I'll I'll take my wins where I can get them. I haven't actually seen uh, Stanford's team. I didn't actually scout beforehand, but uh, I kind of just whiff on a tackle. I guess he didn't really wrap up or anything. He just ran right by him. So oh, I saw it. I just couldn't read in time. Dang it! Oh my god, that is still scary to this day. Still scares me as a scared me as a kid. Scared me as a 21 year old male. So I actually think Tanner McKee is uh going into this year's draft, if I'm not mistaken, as I can't get off the block and he almost takes it for a first down. But uh I'm pretty sure Tanner McKee's going into this draft. Uh some people don't really have him high on the draft board, but he'll probably be a mid-round pick. So we're playing against a pretty solid quarterback in our first ever game. No slouch here. Oh, I missed a... I don't know if I really technically missed it, but I did not get a good tackle there at all. So, they get an easy first down again. 
Oh no. Oh no. I shouldn't have switched. I shouldn't have switched. Dang it. Uh, we get scored on on the first drive. No, no surprise there. I, I'm not surprised. I'm not good at this game at all. Now it's time for us to answer back with the kick return. And wow, I didn't even make it to the 20. Not good. All right, so time to see what off the offense can do, uh, if anything. So this should be interesting. We're going to take the, the simple, easy passes, just trying to gain yardage here. Spencer Wilkes, nine yard re reception. We'll, we'll take it. We'll take that all day. Now, our quarterback is by no means fast at all. So that's why they'll never see it coming. Read option. Oh god, oh god, oh god. They they saw it coming. They saw it coming. Peter had no chance there. And <laughs> just like that, we're already in for a third down. We're gonna, we're gonna switch to a run. We should be able to get at least a few inches on third down. If not, I think we should just go home. But thankfully, we're able to get it. So just like that, we got a first down. You know, I might actually have to switch the playbook up. Uh, Florida Atlantic, or I think that's the playbook I'm using, they're built more of a spread option team, and uh, Peter is not about that life. He is <laughs> a pure pocket passer, uh, if you will. If, if you could even call him that, as he throws an absolute laser. Oh, we actually got some blocks, though, and they deteriorated super fast. I thought, oh, he's doing the Black Beetle Challenge. That was that was cool. Oh, over the top. We got Wilkins for a 22-yard reception. Wow. We are actually driving, as long as I don't do something stupid. And if you do hear a break in between my uh, words and the audio, uh, I am, you know, taking a few sips of Coke every now and then, so... I do apologize, but at the same time, I'm thirsty, so what can you do? Oh, run, Peter, run, 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 run. Oh, I should have thrown that away. Definitely should have thrown that away. And I took an 11-yard sack instead. Not smart on my part. Oh, Wilkins had a foot contusion. I didn't even know that. But, you know, I think uh, I just learned on that last play. We definitely just got to... Uh, go short passes stuff that doesn't take long to develop because uh that was that was sad uh, that was sad <laughs> we had so coach on the third and 21 is gonna go with the four verticals cheese i did not call this myself uh, this is all coach so you know what we'll, we'll try it we'll see what happens man coverage throw it up and that would be pi in the real world but i like it coach i like it he wants to go for it okay Another four verticals call. So I don't know how well this is gonna go, but Coach putting on the big boy pants. We're going for it. Oh, what a strike to Wilkes, but I threw it too soon. Uh, boneheaded move. Thought maybe Wilkes could get a run after the catch for the first, but he was just tackled immediately. Now we're back out on defense. We uh, got scored on pretty easily. So, I don't expect m much difference here, but we'll try. As how we actually get him as... Ooh, he's going empty set here. So, we'll no, it's a pass. We just don't know if we can cover all of it. And we can't. <laughs> but we stop him for a third and three. So, hopefully we can get a three and out here and get the ball back to the offense. Third and three. I think they're going to run it, but you never know. They are going to run it, and they are not going to get it. Let's go. The comeback actually actually uh, was a bad thing there for Stanford. I can't believe it. And we're going to give him a chance to return it. Why not? Oh, he muffed it. He does not get a chance to return it. <laughs> Back out on offense. Hopefully, we can actually score this time. We were in field goal distance, I'm pretty sure. But coach wanted to go for it, so let's see if we can get something going this time. Throw on the run! No! And it's it's no good. That, that is, uh, I did not like that play call, so we immediately audible to a run. Uh, probably not gonna have any blocks, but we'll see what happens here. It's, uh, yeah. Terrence West is going nowhere. And we're already at a third and nine. But not before the quarter ends. You know, after the first quarter being down 7 nothing, I will take. Alright, third and nine here is huge. Um, 
I'm gonna actually give uh, myself some extra blocking. We're gonna tell West to stay in the block. Let's see what we can do here. Oh, and yeah, that was a boneheaded move. I threw a pick. At least we were able to stop him, not let him return him. But yeah, I, I, I should have done that. Terrible, terrible move. All right, we're actually gonna run some man here. I know most of you probably going, Andrew, run some, some man, please. And uh, that's why we don't. <laughs> Uh, we, we don't have the speed or the coverage or the play rec to run man, but I'll, I'll run it every now and then. Because, you know, running running zone on every play would just not be fun. Uh, first and ten, I expect to run here, so I'm going to send some pressure, but I was I would be wrong. I was wrong. Tanner McKee is five for five. This is not looking good. We're going to ship the line to the left, or the linebackers. But hopefully we can actually, you know... Get this man to throw an incompletion, and I... I shouldn't have switched. I got trigger happy, switched, and tried to pick it. Oh, man. That... So sad. And just like that, they're back in the red zone. Uh, we're gonna move the lineman over to the left a little bit. Come on, get there, get there. Oh my goodness, we're getting pancaked. Tackles broken, even in the end zone. Oh, man. Yeah, you don't like to see those tools. Uh, we're actually gonna try to take this out. Why not? We have nothing to lose, and we get brought down at the 15. <laughs> All right, I just not. I need to not throw another pick for the rest of the game, and I will take that as a win. Not. And I almost did it. I almost did it. Wow. Wow. I just need to learn how to play this game, huh? All right, we're gonna we're gonna try to play it safe and do a run here. I know it's not gonna work, but we're we're still gonna try to hammer away at the run game. Uh, and you know what? It went positive. We'll take it. <laughs> Four yard rush. We'll take it. We need to we need to rely more on Terrence West as a star player. Definitely do. All right. Another third down. Uh, a risk of going three and out again. So. Hopefully we can find something. We got Joseph over the middle. Oh, the cutback. There he goes. Can he outrun him? Please. All the way for a touchdown. Oh my goodness. First touchdown in school history. It is an absolute dot from Peter Athens. Oh my goodness. 80 yards to the house. We're going to let uh, Jay Stevens uh, back in... Uh, back in Townsend give his play-by-play -play. he's the radio announcer any highlight play we'll let Jay to the, take a swing at commentary with it a lot better at it than I am but Jay take it away we're looking at another three and out for the Tigers if they can't pick up six yards here Athens needs to be able to make a play we'll see what the coach draws up Athens takes the snap, fakes the handoff, looks over the middle, throws to the left, caught by Joseph, makes a cutback, he's going at the 40, the 30, the 20, the 10, touchdown, Towson Tigers! And the extra point is good, you love to see it. Oh, fumble, fumble! Ah. Wow, I can't believe he fumbled it there. That's crazy. So hopefully after uh, that huge touchdown play from the offense the defense is a little more fired up and ready to play as uh it did they go for a tfl wow we're actually sending a little pressure here on second down it's a screen play get out there get out there and we count him to throw it away wow tanner mckee finally throws an incomplete pass now stanford at a risk of going at a three and out. this is a complete 180 We get a sack. Oh my goodness. Three and out for Stanford in the first sack in school history. And just like that, we might actually be able to come back in this game. It's crazy to think. Um, especially the way that first quarter was going. And in the beginning of the second, I thought we'd run away game for Stanford. I honestly didn't think we'd be able to. I know Peter Athens isn't a scrambler, but we're still gonna try the read option because they won't see it coming. Except they read the quarterback, and Terrence West is going for 12 yards. I'll take that. That's fine. Read the quarterback every time. After throwing away on first down, 
Uh, we're gonna switch to a run here. Don't want to do another read option, but we'll uh, try to at least get some positive yards. And we can't even do that. We're going backwards. And a third and 13. I was just going with the old reliable four verticals. But we'll see how that works. Now we're gonna bring West in to block some more. Maybe they're running man? It does look like man. Maybe we can get him over the top? Ooh, and we were actually so close, I feel like. Uh, good coverage there by the defense. So it's a 49 yard, 49 yard field goal here. Uh, they want us to punt. I'm gonna try the field goal. I'm just gonna say screw it and uh, try the field goal. Maybe because we're kicking into the win. Maybe that's why, but we're, we're gonna try it and see. And we have zero leg. <laughs> as I probably should have just went for it, honestly, but uh, we're still down. Oh, I shouldn't have left him. Ah, uh, that's on me. The deep blue wasn't moving over, but I probably should have stayed on him, even though it's zone. What a throw by Tanner McKee while getting hit. That's crazy. I'm gonna move the line to the right a little bit in case they're running in here, but it's another pass. We are right there to make the tackle. I will take that. And as I say that, I miss the tackle and he goes for 40 yards. All right, this is a terrible idea, but we're only gonna send two here. You know, it might work, it might not, we'll see. But there, Tanner McKee is just dotting us up through the air and we can't even make a tackle, man. Going your the backfield here, as he has a man on the slant and he falls forward for another touchdown. And they hop back out to a two touchdown lead. That's more of what I expected, honestly. We'll never not learn my lesson. We're still gonna take it out. <laughs> Miss block there. Good lord. I know with a minute, five seconds left, we should probably be try trying to throw it, to get down the field, uh, especially with three timeouts, but I'm gonna run it just to see if we can get anything going on the ground game. And we go for nine. So I'm gonna call the first time out here all right so they're pressing here um i like joseph on the out route over there i'm gonna leave west in the block again but i'm gonna mainly look for joseph out there on the out route it's zone and i'm getting sacked oh i just don't see us driving really unless we get some miracle type play here but i'm gonna keep the clock running anyway um, I don't I don't want to risk it We have Wilkins. Oh my goodness. He just got Murdered fourth and inches 12 seconds still half. I'm gonna go for it. I don't I don't even care at this point We are going for it. This is for pride To get a few inches and the fact that they called a timeout Let's get this Tanner West, not Tanner West, good lord, Terrence West. <laughs> Nine seconds left, I called a timeout now because I think I wanna try and throw one deep. See if we can get something here. Oh, we got someone running. Oh, he stopped and then went again. Gonna leave West in the block, but we're just gonna see how, how much of an arm does Peter Athens have. Pretty decent underthrown though. And that's going to take us to half. All right, starting the second half with the ball. Never not going to learn my lesson. Always going to return the kick. And did we make it past the 20? We did. See, it's the little wins. It's the little wins that you got to take pride in. Looks like they're pressing again. I might. I like Joseph on his own out there, but I don't know. They, they're they really good coverage team. So maybe I can hit them on the... Come back. All right, I doubt this works, but we're gonna try a play action wide receiver screen. I'm most likely about to throw it here. Oh, and I called it. <laughs> All right, so they're at the 20 after the pick, so more than likely they are gonna score, so don't hold your breath for a stop here, guys. Oh, he moved. And they only sent two out on a route, and we still can't cover it, man. We get them behind the line. That's 
something to hang our hat on. Our run defense is actually coming alive here. He only has 25 yards. I'm going to switch it to man at the last second and see what happens here. Oh, I couldn't get there in time. I was trying to go for the pick, but wouldn't register it. But we hold him to three. I'm, I'm happy with that. We finally hold him to three. Never not learning my lesson. Oh, he breaks it to the outside, gets to the 30 before he's brought in down. Uh, I feel it. Jabari Thomas is going to actually break one for a long touchdown. I don't know when, but he'll he'll do it. They bit on the running back. West, Athens is going to slide down for six yards. All right, maybe, maybe I don't throw any wide receiver screens anymore. And we uh, try to make Peter Athens look like a somewhat intelligent quarterback let's let's try that the corner route and it's dropped all right conservative catches now on i should have did that at the start of the game but it's on now so at, at least there's that gonna try another read option they bite on the running back slide oh he's wide open makes up for the the drop earlier james oboe all right, this is the play that we scored on earlier. So I'm hoping we can uh, get another uh, magical play from it. We'll see what happens. As Peter gets hit as he throws and I can't actually make the catch apparently after I click the triangle button a bunch and we throw another pick. I think for the rest of the game, I might just run like blitzes and man, we'll just, we'll see how this goes. Uh, Maybe we don't. I don't. I don't know what to run on defense. <laughs> Nothing's working. It's just the name of the game. But we got. We got to figure out something. I'll hop on the safety here for the blitz. They do. Oh, I almost got there. We at least we bring him down. No broken tackles. I forgot how to make audibles in this game. But it doesn't matter because we're taking down Tanner McKee for a loss of two. That's something. I'm telling you, the run defense is actually pretty stout. We just can't defend the pass to save our life. Oh, I thought I could get the sack. Oh, and I thought we almost had the pick there. Thomas Bradley would add the first pick in school history, but just a little too slow on the comeback. Like always, I can't learn my lesson. We're going to take this kick out, and we're going to get it to the 30 again. I'm feeling it. Tom, Jabari Thomas, he'll he'll, uh, he'll break one. So I think the smart thing to do here is just run the ball. Never mind. <laughs> All right, guys. They ain't ever going to see this one coming. Quarterback draw. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I'm just trying stuff at this point. Coach going with the trusty four verts here. Uh, hasn't been trusty for us yet, but it might be just now as Oboe gets another catch. And just like that, we're across midfield for like the second time today. All right, so I think the crossing play action passes are what works best for us as I get strip sacked and at least we recover it. Okay, another third and long. I mean, we just can't get out of these situations to save our lives. Maybe man. I mean, it looks like they're playing press man. It looks like they are two man over, but I throw another pick. That one's on me again. I just can't. All right. After throwing another pick, I shouldn't have moved from that spot. Dang it, man. I'm so close to being in the right spot, but I'm, I'm never actually in the right spots. All right. We're going to try man coverage once again. Probably not going to work, but we'll see. As we get beat on the corner route out there. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to key on this uh, tight end here, see if I can play on him. Oh, it's a run. So it doesn't matter. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use her against the tight end again. That's another read option, and McKee's going back for four this time. Smith. Oh, so close to a pick, but we'll take the break up for a fourth and 11. They're definitely going to go for three here, but at least we're learning to bend and not break. Try one more time for a big return here, but I did. Oh, oh, go Thomas. Go Thomas. We can't get past the 35 though. Dang. 
All right, I need to stick to my word now and uh, run the ball out for the rest of the game. We, oh, I let Peter Athens take a pretty big hit though. Coach is wanting to pass it, but we're gonna audible out and do a, another run. Uh, I just, I don't wanna throw another pick. And Terrence West, he's staying pretty solid on the ground, gets another first down. Oh, we got a man over the middle. I don't, I, I knew I had to at least throw it once, but I'm probably gonna go back to running it, but it, it was good to get a pass in there. Terrence West is tired, but we're still gonna run it with him here. As we get one yard, I'll take it. All right, after getting nothing for two plays, we're back to another third down. We're gonna have to pass it here. We wanna try to keep this drive alive. Scott gets us the first down after he gets tangled up at the line. Comes back to the ball. And with that pass, uh, Peter Athens actually completed 10 passes on the day. They're really bunched up there to the left, so hopefully this run can actually get some traction going. But Terrence West kind of stutters in the backfield. No. We can only get four out of it. Trey Jones, the backup, actually getting a touch there. Trey Jones, the backup. Oh, he's so close. Oh, we're going to go for it here, obviously. Going to go with the fullback dive. Holder. I don't know who Holder is, but... We, we got to put our trust in him. Feed the man. And he, he does not get it. Oh, he got the first down. I didn't even notice that. Okay. We get... Three more chances somehow. And West is back in, so we're gonna try to get the touchdown with him here with only 45 seconds left. We're just trying to put some more points on the board. I don't know why I dived. That was not smart at all, but he gets in for a touchdown. Coach actually wants to go for two here. I don't know why. I mean, no way we're coming back, but you know, we'll go for it. Why not? In the back of the end zone, we get it. Oh wow, Notre Dame coming back to beat Michigan 37 to 14. Wow. All right, so I'm hoping they just run out the ball here. Um, yeah, it looks like they are. So, so that's gonna do it. We take a pretty big loss to Stanford, 30 to 15, I believe. Um, we just really couldn't get anything going besides that one big play. Um, it was just a lot of mistakes for us mostly on me throwing four picks but uh, like I said I'm not very good at the game yet still got to get back in the swing of things but uh, I think I think I can definitely limit those turnovers but hopefully we don't take a beating as bad as that anymore so looking at the stats Peter Athens uh, 10 for 25 252 yards one touchdown but the four picks Almost all of them are on me, so uh, I'll try to limit that in the coming weeks. And uh, the three sacks, that wasn't great either. Um, I gotta learn to get rid of the ball a lot quicker. Terrence West, 16 attempts for 65 yards and a touchdown. Uh, putting in a good bit of work. Of course, Peter Athens, negative 22 yards, that's coming from the sacks, so we definitely need to turn that around. And uh, the backup, Trey Jones, uh, he only got two touches there at the end of the game, but I mean, maybe that's uh, someone we try to look to give the ball to more. Receiving Spencer Wilkins, the senior, four receptions, 64 yards, had a long of 22. I mean, all of our receivers had pretty big longs. It's just we didn't have many receptions at all. Uh, like you see, 29, 26, 80. Derek Joseph with the one reception for 80 yards and that touchdown, a huge play. Uh, one thing I'm glad to see is the drops are very minimal, only two drops. Like again, letting in three sacks, not good. On the defense, um, Walter Dunstan with our uh, tackle leader and uh, five tackles, five solos, all of them solo tackles. Let's look at the TFLs. We have Ryan Mays. He had two TFLs, which was great to see. Uh, getting Tanner McKee in the backfield. Walter Dunstan again with a TFL. Riley Davis with a TFL. Brayden Ball.
Noir with a TFL and Drew Shapiko with a TFL. And following that loss, guys, that's going to do it for this episode. Thank you for tuning in and uh, make sure to tune into next episode because we will be going through the bye week that we have next. And then we will be playing what is App State, but they are scanned over the Idaho State Vandals. So it's going to be the Idaho uh, jerseys and the logos and the stadium if we're playing there. It's just all the App State players. So uh, nothing I can do about that with the rosters I downloaded, but we'll just uh, treat it as whatever we really want to. So uh, yeah. Anyway, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Love you all and peace.